Yeah, I'll try that one. That's cute. Inside of stores like Plus Brooklyn, size doesn't matter. Ooh. This is great, right? Oh my god, this uh, is like, amazing! Literally so good. Hey. But outside of these doors, that's not always the case. We heard from somebody who was having a problem with a landlord because they're the downstairs neighbors were saying, you know, that fat lady's footsteps are too heavy. And the landlord was threatening to evict her because of it. As the chair of the National Association to Advance Fat Acceptance, Tigris Osborne says she hears stories like this every day. It's why she was thrilled when New York City became the latest city in the U.S. to pass a bill banning the discrimination of weight and height in regards to employment, housing, and access to public accommodations. But having it done in New York is, it's a signal to the rest of the world that the time is now. In the United States, it's illegal to discriminate against someone's national origin, race, color, religion, disability, sex, or familial status. What's not included on that list are physical attributes. A lot of our advocacy work is focused on raising the national conversation about the need for legislation. Only six other cities have similar discrimination laws to what New York City just passed. Binghamton, New York, Madison, Wisconsin, Urbana, Illinois, Washington, D.C., San Francisco, and Santa Cruz, California. As for state laws, Michigan is the only place to ban it statewide. However, states like New Jersey and Massachusetts have introduced similar legislation. There are already a few states that have pending bills, and we know that there are at least a couple more coming in the next year. New York attorney Peter Sverd works on human rights cases. He says the goals of laws like these are not to inundate court systems, but rather inspire change from companies, organizations, and city entities who fall within city limits. The chilling effect of the law itself will trigger a widespread changing of policies and practices to stave off any potential claims. The city of New York has extended and expanded civil rights to different groups of people that go beyond what is provided for under state law and under federal law. He says people will be able to take alleged violators to civil court, but there are also protections if a person's weight or height would prevent them from performing a job's essential duties. The person who works at the front door security for a major nightclub in Manhattan needs to have a certain strength, height, uh, weight, but the law does not require ineffective people to be put in situations to fail. That's not good for the business, it's not good for the public, and frankly, it's not good for the worker. The law in New York is supposed to take effect in November. While more cities and states consider following suit, organizations like NAFA continue to work to remove the stigma around weight. Since 1969, we have worked on trying to change people's perceptions of what fat is. Um, what fat people are like and advocating for fat people. In this era of body positive movements, Tigris says this is another step toward a more inclusive society. Jesse Cohen, Scripps News, New York City.